Hello my friends and welcome to the first time that I'm putting a Motivation Monday up on YouTube. Uh, you're probably wondering why it's up on YouTube and it's because every time I do a Motivation Monday I somehow get weirdly distracted by other people. Which is, don't get me wrong, I love talking to you guys, but I also worry that sometimes by the end of the VOD people are like, so what's the point? And I'm like, honestly, I don't know, we got so off track. So I'm gonna be doing this and then after you've watched this video, I will be on Twitch and you can come and hang out and chat with me on Twitch and we will have a great time discussing the things that I've said here and I feel like maybe we'll be more structured, probably not, but we're gonna try and if not we're gonna pretend that we are and that's good enough for me. <laughs> okay, so Motivation Monday today we are going to be talking about being messy versus being tidy. Does your organization level or your tidiness affect how motivated you feel? Personally, I don't know. I haven't considered it before this week, except this week, as you can tell, <laughs> everything is a mess. I'm so messy, it's disgusting. Um, and I've also noticed that I've decided to watch YouTube more times than not. Also, that's my neighbor. Say hi, everyone. Hello, neighbor. I don't know what he's doing, but he's been at it since five o'clock this morning, so. I think it's important. I don't... I'm not sure if he's knocking or building something. But that's okay. So I am gonna tidy up this room. Have a little clean with me. Because that's something we can't do on my Twitch chat because I only have my headset and every time I go to get a desk microphone I'm like... Do I really need one? Which yes, I do need one. I acknowledge that I will force myself eventually, I promise. But other than that, come clean up with me, and then we're gonna talk about, is that gonna help me study? And then after we've watched this video, jump on over and chat with me on Twitch. Okay, cool, promo's done, introduction done. If you're new to my channel, hello, this is Motivation Monday, where we talk about motivation and something scientifically connected to motivation in a very, very pseudo sciencey way. Um, if you're here procrastinating, I'm probably not gonna help you much, but hopefully you'll have a good time. If you're here to learn sciencey things, uh, you'll get a general idea. I'm not a scientist. Hello, I'm a law and criminology student. I don't even have an undergraduate degree yet. Nothing I say should be taken seriously. This is a form of edutainment, which is a new category in which there's education and entertainment, but it doesn't do either of them. Yeah. Weird. <laughs> Okay, let's tidy up. Also, I'm gonna have YouTube videos on in, on my laptop, so if I start laughing at things, don't freak out. I'm not laughing at myself. I, I might do that, because sometimes I trip over my own feet. But mostly I'll just be watching a YouTube video. I'm actually kind of thinking, <laughs> I'm gonna watch some Marie Kondo, The Magic of Tidying Up, because it makes me feel good. You know, and feeling good is important. Okay, okay, we're tidying up.
Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back from my cleaning session. Yes, I have changed because it is the next day. My neighbor has decided to be quiet. Thank you, sir. We appreciate it. So, tidying up. Does it actually have any scientific effect? Well, I have some notes and we're going to talk about it. One of the first things I found in the study was that your external environment affects how you behave, which is kind of the basic principle that we're basing all of this off. If we clean up and if we're tidy, then we're more motivated, right? Well, kind of. <laughs> That's not the exact conclusion that I came to, but we're going to get to that. So by surrounding yourself in a clean, hygienic environment, we can encourage positive behaviors, i.e. studying more, which is what most of us are looking at. Or perhaps you want to work harder or feel happier. Those are the kinds of behaviors that potentially a hygienic environment can encourage. Now, I didn't find much correlation between tidiness and being motivated to study. However, I did find a lot about tidiness and feeling happy. Uh, including some really fascinating articles about how being tidy can change everything from your political perspective to your overall look on life and I will get to that study because it made me laugh very hard. It was quite entertaining. Um, so we are probably all familiar with Marie Kondo and the life-changing magic of tidying up, a simple and effective way to banish clutter as her book is called. Forever. Banish clutter forever. There we go. She also has uh, another book on the life-changing magic of tidying up. I gather they're quite similar, but talk about different concepts. Um, she's also got a documentary up on Netflix where she talks about how to tidy up apartments and she goes in to different people around, I'm pretty sure it's America, and they tidy up and their lives transform. Typically, you know, they're either stressed in their relationship or working, stressing them out, or family life just doesn't feel right. Once they tidy up, everything feels amazing. And, well, not amazing, but things feel so much better and it's more positive and they've learned a lot. And so that's the kind of association that we want to see with tidying up. Uh, but when we read into the literature about cleanliness and the effect of behavior, we don't really see that reflected. There's very few studies talking about tidiness and its effect on behavior, there's even fewer studies talking about hygiene and its effect on behavior. So um, just to pause here and talk about definitions. I'm referring to cleanliness at the moment as everything having its place. Think about the Marie Kondo method. So when we look around the room, we just see everything in order. It looks tidy. There's no clutter everywhere. We've put away our headset, which we haven't, but we'll pretend that I have. So. <laughs> cool, it's on everywhere. And the bed is definitely a flat, tidy thing. Hmm. Perfect example. But hygiene is like clothes cleaned, teeth cleaned, skin cleaned. And I say that because as I was doing my research, I found a lot of fascinating articles about oral hygiene and its effects on behavior. So, yes, I'm using both those. Like, hygiene is like disinfecting, clean cleanliness is physically, aesthetically pleasing. Okay, we've said that. So, essentially what we know is that tidying up encourages or brings positive ideas into our external environment. But these ideas that we bring with cleanliness or tidiness depend on what we associate it with. So, some of the discussions I read was that some people may associate conservative behaviour with cleanliness. There was no discussion in the article of why that was, they would just said that. But that's one thing that you may associate it with. You may also associate it with positive psychology, which was also brought up that tidying up may encourage us to input more positive psychology methods, although it didn't say what methods or how or why, so... No. Hopefully it does, is effectively what that study is. Whether or not you agree with the idea that being tidy encourages more conservative views, it's completely irrelevant. I really just thought it was amusing and a really good example of why tidying up may make you feel more ready to study. Because you may be associating a clean, tidy room with studying, because that's a positive behaviour. 
but you may not be. <laughs> and that's something that we need to try and encourage an association with. I also sort of continued on that tangent of, okay, well, what other kinds of behaviors could we associate cleanliness and tidiness with? And I found that fitness was another one. There was a study in Indiana University. I couldn't find the original study. I don't know where they put it, but there's lots of articles on it and the lady talks about it. She's a lot of interviews. So I will link those in the discord as per usual, but I'm sorry, I couldn't find the study. So this is just a general vibe of what it says. And that is that when she went and she interviewed like 500 people and said, okay, how clean is your house? And I believe she went and looked at them and stuff. I don't know. Again, I couldn't find the study. I have no idea what classifies as tidy in her mind. Oh, <sighs> so many issues. But that's fine. So she went there and she found that the people who had a tidier, more hygienic house tended to be fitter and engage more in physical activity. We don't know why. We don't know what kind of physical activity, but there you go. <laughs> Being tidy will make you go to the gym more. <laughs> okay, so of course, you know, there are different impressions about whether or not physical activity is a positive behavior. I won't get into that here. We definitely don't have enough time for that discussion. But I also was kind of wondering, well, this is a really modern phenomenon and a lot of the studies are really recent, including 2018 onwards. So I sort of paused when I was doing my research here and thought, I don't want to say that tidying up has no effect on motivation because it might. And it may be the case that actually we haven't done enough research yet. And this is a category of a motivation that we need to flag and keep up with and it may change in the next two to three years and this is because there's a lot of things coming into modern society at the moment that we actually haven't researched well enough one of the big examples is asmr which is auto sensory meridian response yes i'm double checking that's what it is because i'm nervous about saying that okay so what that is for those who don't know it's a youtube video of some kind of video and she focuses on aesthetics and higher pitched sounds. No, that's kind of, it's like normal sounds, but they're raised. That was a terrible description. Go on YouTube, you'll be fine, you'll figure it out. Basically, it causes a reaction in the brain that is highly pleasurable and makes a lot of people feel happy and relaxed. And for a long time, people just thought it was a group of individuals who were crazy listening to weird things. Which if you've never seen it before, that's probably what it looks like. However, in the last year or six months or so, people have come to actually study this phenomenon and have begun to actually connect why that happens in the brain. But we don't have enough research to know what are the long-term effects, what are the short-term effects, why do some people get this response and why do others not? We only have general theories and ideas and it may be that tidying up is something that our society just hasn't considered before and why it helps motivation for some people and is procrastination for others we don't know so i will say that don't completely wipe tidying up off your things that make me feel motivated list if you have a list i i probably should have a list that would be great i do actually so the last thing that I wanted to talk about is if you do find tidying up to actually be one of your procrastination methods, it doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing. I know that for some reason, because I do Motivation Monday, people assume that I am motivated 100% of the time. No, definitely not. Not at all. Pretty much never. <laughs> but I have come to develop a lot of methods that help me get started and get things done. And one of them is what I call the 10-10 method. And it's really easy and simple to use and I like it because I still get to do the things that I want to do, but I also get stuff done. So the, the title kind of gives it away. I spend 10 minutes doing something that I am letting myself procrastinate with, so tidying up. And then I go sit down and do 10 minutes of the assignment that I have to do. So writing my assignment, 10 minutes of the work that I have to do. So writing an assignment or studying for an essay. Once that 10 minutes is up, right back to the procrastination behaviors. It's great. 10 minutes, 
goes so fast, and then 10 minutes back. And what you'll find is that gradually over time, you'll be ready to build up to 15 minutes study, 15 minutes procrastination. Or you may need to alter that split a little bit. It may be 15 minutes study, five minutes procrastination, five minutes study, 10 minutes procrastination. But be careful, yes, I know people are probably like, what if I do like forever procrastination and five minutes of study? Don't. <laughs> you, get, you do have to work a little bit hard not to let yourself do that, but I do find that the 10-10 just helps me feel like I'm not studying forever. I can go back to the procrastination behavior if I can just push through for the last two minutes. It's okay. And then before you know it, you've done two hours worth of study and two hours worth of procrastination, but you're still done the two hours, which is more than nothing. So give it a go. Let me know how you find it. Also, let me know if you find tidying up to be motivational for you. Otherwise, come join me on Twitch now because I will be there. It will be a good time. We're going to talk about this stuff. I'm going to be studying. You guys can be studying. You can be procrastinating if you want to. It's fine.